Okay, folks, what we've got us here is uh, DJI Phantom 2. That's having an issue with uh, one of the motors here not spinning. It was in a crash and I was upside down with the motor still attempting to turn. Uh, I'm suspecting it's a burnt out ESC. So we went ahead, got ourselves a replacement ESC, so that's what we'll be doing today. I've marked the motor that's not working so that once I get the shell off, I don't lose track of which one it is. Show you here what's going on. So if we arm, you see that all the motors are spinning except this one. First step's going to be take out the battery because uh, we certainly don't want to short that while we're working on stuff. And we've got quite a number of screws under here that are going to need to come out. And that's a two millimeter hex. And it's worth noting that it wasn't necessary for me to take out the motor screws. Uh, it was one, two, three screws, uh, hex screws on each arm, and one Phillips. And now the top shell comes off relatively cleanly. Just need to unplug the GPS cable from there. The GPS is hiding under that. So. This is the ESC we'll be replacing. Uh, interestingly, uh, it there is a visible damage to this ESC. Um, you can see that these two um, components here uh, show some clear heat damage. They're burned a little bit there, melted. So certainly the issue here is the ESC. The, the motor looks fine. There's a little blackening of this uh, red motor wire. I'll take a look at it make sure that the um, the insulation is intact, but I think it's going to be fine. Uh, so it, removing this is just going to be a matter of uh, removing a couple of screws here, um, desoldering these three wires here, um, unplugging this uh, connector, can't recall what that thing is called, and um, also desoldering the power wires from uh, from the main board here because the ESC comes with power wires pre-soldered and um, so we'll, we'll make use of those. So let's get going. The old ESC is off and it's time to put the new one on. Um, looks like they've pre-tinned these power lines. So we got uh, ground over here and volts there. We'll solder in there and then we'll put these back on here in the order that uh, we found them. A, B, and C. Um, if we were to get any of these, any two of these switched our motor would spin uh, the wrong direction, which would be a bad thing. So we'll put them back in the order we found them, which would match actually the ordering on the motor opposite. So we see red toward the center, yellow, then black. Um, here, what you can see is that they've switched yellow and red on these two motors. So these two spin opposite of these two. As I was working on this, I noticed there's a, it's a bit of a change in the sheen on these ESCs. Um, so what I, what's going on here is it looks like they've got a, a silicone conformal coating painted onto the circuitry here for waterproofing. Um, so where I've now soldered, I've burned off that coating 
uh, which is as it's intended to. It's a, it's a really nice coating, you solder right through it, but I will reapply here and here where I've soldered um, and, and gone through that coating. Um, I do happen to have a bottle here, so that's not going to be a problem. Let me just paint it right on there and let it to let it dry. Um, uh, I'm not sure in what circumstances we'd find water in here. Maybe flying in the rain or snow, but uh, it doesn't hurt. Eh, a couple spots over here looks like we missed. So that coating doesn't take long to dry at all, and in fact, it's already dry. Um, I've gone ahead and reattached that harness, uh, the control wires there, and uh, just get, get this back into place here so we can screw it down. Wires are a little bit stiff. Get that, there we go. And we'll just um, fasten that down. I'm going to put a zip tie around these two cables here, which was done on the other ones. So we'll do the same as that. That's put back together. Um, you know, double check that. You don't have any beads of solder hanging around there. Um, likewise here, you don't want to see that uh, uh, there's any shorts across from the ground to the uh, the voltage source there. Um, one note that I forgot to mention is these two screws that are holding the ESC in place actually don't screw into the frame itself, but screw through into the shield that covers up the LEDs that are on the bottom of the ESC. Okay, the GPS module plugs right back in where it came from here that slides right back on there and one thing we don't want to forget to do before we fly it is to remove this piece of tape that I put on here because uh, that'll affect the balance of the motor and produce vibrations that might affect the stability of So there we go. Now let's try it out and see if it works. Lovely! Yeah, that looks good. Time to put some props on it and see if she'll fly. it into land and uh, just just a nice real easy landing on a level spot once you touch just bring it back to idle and it'll cut off the motors in about a second and there it goes